Okay, beloved ones. I'm going to share something with you. Um, I used to drink regular coffee every day. Um, not like a coffee coffeeaholic where I had to have it throughout the day. Just one cup of coffee a day. And someone who I care very much for, who I respect very much, who I really admired, was telling me how coffee's not good for you. And I was like, eh, well, it's an antioxidant. And there's, there are good things about coffee. But I decided that I would try, just, you know, I would go with decaffeinated coffee. Um, and at first, I the decaffeinated coffee I found tasted bad. I didn't even want to stick with it. But through that process, I was researching, there's got to be better tasting decaf coffee. Sure enough, here's why regular decaf coffee you get off the shelf in the stores tastes so bad. It's because um, it's a chemical process. It's actually not good for you. Well, how they take the caffeine out of the beans. But I did research to find out that the Swiss water process of decaffeinating beans um, it does not have harsh chemicals. It's actually really good. That's a, it's a good process. Um, just using water to naturally extract the caffeine. Um, that's that's the best. That's the best way to do it. The Swiss process. So I got beans, um, decaffeinated coffee beans, um, done with the Swiss process, and found that the coffee tasted amazing. Like really good. Not nasty, like really good, like regular coffee. <laughs> I mean, so I got all this decaf coffee. I found these coffee, decaffeinated coffee beans. I've been ordering them online, but I actually found some other places locally that have um, decaf coffee beans as well. Here's the thing, beloved ones. So I, I've been on this coffee, decaf coffee. I decided to have a regular cup of coffee after I was having just decaf for like a week, two weeks, more than that probably. And I could not believe that after being off of regular coffee and then having one cup, we're not even talking about a three or four espresso, that I was jittery. Yes. And I felt like my heart was kind of racing and I, I was like, oh my goodness, it took me being off of the regular caffeinated coffee for a while being on to trying it again to, to see and feel the difference and now like I do not like that feeling at all um, I just don't and that's what I've been doing to my body year after year I didn't realize it so I'm not here to tell you um, get off your coffee I mean if you're like one of those people that drinks coffee um, maybe once a week you know or twice a week know that's beautiful like regular coffee but if you're like drinking coffee all the time I really encourage you to try this uh, decaf coffee it's really good good for your heart I think and you're still having coffee you know if you love that taste I love the taste of coffee I love coffee um, but again if you've had just decaf from the shelf it's nasty um, I'm gonna put a link to this brand that I'm having that's really good tastes amazing um, and I, you know, I believe it's it's good for you because coffee is an antioxidant and washing the caffeine out it's not taking away the beautiful properties of coffee and you're still having coffee, okay? Still having that taste. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the links. Um, I love you all. I just had to share this. Um, something to consider. I feel like it's, it was life changing for me. And so I thought it would, could be uh, life-changing for, for you as well. And, uh, oh, sorry, I gotta <laughs> turn here real quick. Oh. <laughs> the other awesome thing is I am, um, I actually had a uh, job, oh, I think that's my friend over there. I don't know if you saw me or not. <laughs> I was waving anyways. Um, I had a job interview today and it went really well. Um, I just, I don't know if it's the job for me, but I'm praying um, 
because I've had more music opportunities, which has been amazing. Baruch Hashem. Apparently, this was God's timing, and I'm all, I'm going to be 33 soon, so I don't know what that that might mean. Something <laughs> the ministry is taking off. Um, but on the other hand, I haven't. I still haven't had enough invitations to support myself where I can actually pay for health care because I haven't had health care since the last job I had that provide health care and the job I have currently it doesn't have that um, it doesn't pay well either I love the job I have but sadly it doesn't pay well so I couldn't even afford they don't provide benefits and I couldn't even afford to 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 get health care so this job that the interview went really well um, it provides benefits, pays better. Um, it's a Monday through Friday, so I think, at least if I'm doing music events locally at local congregations, it's still going to be just fine because um, they're usually Saturday or Sunday or a Friday night. Um, eventually, though, if God is so good to let me go farther and you know to places more distant places, um, I I don't see this job you know as like forever job. Uh, because my goal, my prayer is to, uh, you know, still to do music full time. But the reality is I don't have enough music invitations to support myself and have health care and whatnot. So um, pray for me. Continue. I know you guys do pray for me and I love that. Thank you so much. Um, I still have PayPal up uh, as a way to, to, uh, to bless me. Um, because I haven't, I, I know I talked about that, how I was going to take it down, but I haven't, I, I don't have anything else set up yet. So if you have that in your heart, um, especially during this time of transition, um, I have some exciting news too I, I want to share, but I'm going to save it for a later date. But it kind of goes along with the fact that I've had, um, for something amazing, I've had some extra costs, um, but it's, it's for something amazing that um, God has blessed me with. Um, and I know he's going to provide no matter what, even if, you know, even if, you know, like this job, if I get, if I got this job, he, he's going to make a way for me to, to do well. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to say Shabbat Shalom too. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Yeah. This is, this is really what I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> all coffee aside. Um, so I, the, the. The, um, we're going to get deep here for a second and I promise I'll let you go here in a bit um, the United States of America has really declined um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally uh, higher rates of crime higher rates of suicide and here's what I found out from my research and I, I shared this on my Facebook page um, from my research 26 million Americans stopped reading the Bible during the C virus. I'm not going to say it because, you know, YouTube, everything will maybe block out my video. And I really have no idea if they're going to take win or if they'll take down my channel at some point. But as long as it's here, I'm, I'm sharing here and there. So 26 minutes. So I know that a lot of people who do not have, who are not people of faith, not religious, atheists, I've got atheist friends. Um, they don't, you know, they're, they're people that are they, they do good things, <laughs> you know, but of course in the Bible we know that just because you do good things, it doesn't mean that you're going to be with the Lord for eternity. It's a lot more than doing good things. It's having a relationship with Him. I mean, and um, so when when we were supposed to turn to God fiercely during the confusion of this, this sickness, I am just besides myself to see how many Americans um, stopped reading the Bible. I mean, uh, I know a lot of people stopped going to their churches and their congregations because they were staying home. Um, all the more reason to be reading the Bible, I feel like. Uh, but that is the, the statistics. And we've got higher crime. So I know for the, well, this is what I was going to say. I got friends as I was saying that are not religious, but for me, I I definitely see the connection between a lack of study of the Bible and what's going on in the United States of America. I mean, you can argue, you can say what you want, 
And I'm not even saying that people who read the Bible like that somehow makes them good people. I'm not saying that at all. I don't agree with that. I know a lot of people who go to a, a, a church creation every week and they, well, not a lot of people. I know some people. And um, God bless them. They, they struggle with racism. I struggle with things, so I'm not going to judge, and I'm definitely not saying names. I mean, you guys wouldn't know them anyways, but I'm just just putting that as a as a uh, as a example. So, um, so I'm not saying that just because people stop reading the Bible. I'm saying though that the study of Bible, even if the person is really struggling with not being kind with people, the study of the Bible is convicting to the heart. So the decline of studying the Word. Definitely, I see the connection in with the increase in suicide, the increase of um, poor mental health, um, people really struggling. So I encourage you, beloved ones, um, you know, get in the word. Just, I'm saying this to myself too, because um, as I've been trying to find a good income these days, um, I struggle with having a time I set to just study. Like, I go to my congregation, and we read the Word, and we study, but, like, I know that that's not the only study I'm supposed to have, you know? And I do read verses every day, but, but a, a deep study. Um, I used to share with you guys all the time what I studied. Um, and that's what we need more of. Uh, because things are getting increasingly dark in this world. But that's when the light, our light in Him, is supposed to shine even brighter, I mean? Um, so, I just want to share that. Uh, when I post this, I think it's going to be close to Shabbat. So Shabbat Shalom. Oh, I look pretty tired because I've been running around today. Um, but I'm doing well. Thank you guys. Oh, my screen is kind of dirty. Thank you all for listening. Um, and again, for praying. Please continue to pray for me. Um, and I, I pray for blessings upon each one of you. Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. I love you all very much. Take care, okay? Bye-bye.